Hi, first grade. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Today we're going to be doing St. Patrick's Day math. And what you are going to need, this is all right here out of the St. Patrick's Day packet. You will need this bag. So you can even just take the paper clip off and grab this bag. You are also going to need, this is at the very back of the packet, page five right here, which is this. And page six right here. Now, this goes with the story. There was an old lady who swallowed a clover. So if you have not watched my first video, which is just a read aloud of that story, then make sure you watch that first and then you'll complete this activity. So just a read aloud of that story first and then we're going to go through this graph. So now that we are here together, after you've listened to the story, what we are going to do is walk through how to complete this graphing activity. You are going to see, we have right here, this is a tally chart and this is a bar graph. You do not have to color the pictures, boys and girls, but if you wanted to, you could. And you, can, you will actually want to have colors when you get to the bar graph, you'll use crayons. You can use one crayon for all of it or marker. You can use a few colors, up to you. And I'll kind of show you what I mean by that. But <clears throat> very first thing you will be working with is this page five right here and your bag because we'll have to sort. I would say first, put your name on this. You will of course need a pencil too. And then we're going to sort our pictures right here. And some of these items are things that the old woman swallowed in the story that you'll remember. Some of these things too are just St. Patrick's Day themed. So you'll see, I'm going to make a pile of my shapes that match. So right now I'm putting my items that match, all my rainbows over here, all my little pots over here, my gold coin right there, put my leprechauns over here, and you will just go through and sort. So you'll see, I have them right now in my hand and I'm sorting into piles on a surface. If you have another way that works better for you, that's totally fine. Right now, you are just making sure that you sort all of your objects into a pile with that object. So all my rainbows are in one pile, all my pots, all my gold coins, all of my chicks, and all of my leprechauns, okay? Now, next thing we do is we start with an object and then we make tally marks for how many we have. So right here, we're going to start with the gold coins, okay? Right here, you'll see the picture, gold coins here gold coins here. So make sure the pictures match. I have one, two, three, four. So what I'm going to do, I'll move these off to the side a little bit, make some space. I'm going to draw one, two, three, four tally marks. And after you do that, if you want, you can stick, you know, the gold coins back in the bag just to kind of get them out of the way. Now, next, we're going to look right here at our pot. I also have four, so I'll make four tally marks. So one, two, three, four. And I apologize, I'm adjusting the docu document camera a lot just to make sure you guys can see what I'm doing over here. Okay, next is the leprechauns. I'll pull mine. I have one, two, three, four, five, six leprechauns. So I will make six tally marks. Remember when we do our tally marks and we do groups of five, that's a slash. So one, two, three, four, five, that slash across for five, six, okay? And then I'll put my leprechauns back in the bag. Now we're moving to the rainbows. There's one, two, three rainbows. So I'll make one, two, three tally marks. And then last but not least, 
the chicks. One, two, three, chicks. One, two, three. Okay. Now, you have all of your data on your tally chart. The last thing that you need to do is take this data and put it onto your bar graph. And you'll see with this bar graph, the picture's down below, and you will color the amount of spaces that equals what you have on your tally chart. And you can use any color. So for example, maybe I'll say, you know what? For my gold coins, I would like to color this all yellow or gold. And I have to make sure it matches. So right now I see I have four of these tally marks. So that means that I have to color four spaces in that column, okay? So I'll color one, two, three, four. Perfect. Then I would move to the next one. And we see we have this pot right here. And maybe I say, you know what? I would like to color my spaces for the pot black. And right here, I have four. I have four of those pots, four tally marks. So I color one, two, three, four. And boys and girls, you can take your time and do a better job than I did and completely fill in these rectangles, okay? Then I would move to leprechauns and maybe I say, you know what? I would like to color my leprechaun section, my leprechaun column green. So then I see that there's six. So I would color six spaces. One, two, three, four, five, six. Perfect. Then I move to my rainbows. I see I have three of them. And maybe for my rainbows, I wanna draw them pink or color them pink, why not? One, two, three, perfect. And then last we have the chicks. Maybe I also want to do the chicks yellow, totally cool. I see that I have three of them. So I color in one, two, three spaces, okay? If you wanted to color these pictures in two, you can here and here, but you do not have to. Then all you will do after that is put your tally chart, which is page five, and your bar graph, which is page six, next to each other and take a picture of it. And then that's it. And you can keep these if you want to use for, you know, something else for fun. And that is our graphing for today. Super fun St. Patrick's Day graphing. Hope you have a great St. Patrick's Day and I will see you later. Bye.